Aloha Cupcakes. Today I'm working with the Sharf Pinstriping Brush. This one is a double zero, but if you look close, it's got a very long handle. So this ought to be fun. So first thing I notice is that I get to hold this thing at a very weird angle. And I understand that these are four line, sign painters so that they are able to do their line work. And as a pinstriper, this is a very awkward position for me. And yes, I do this a lot when I use a scrolling brush. It's just that a scrolling brush behaves a lot different than this thing. So after a few lines, I start to notice that the big belly on this thing holds a decent amount of paint, which is kind of awesome. And that it also pulls these really crisp, sharp corners. So when I'm pulling into another line, I'm able to pull this thing almost precisely into it without it tapering off or without me having to really pull too far out of it which is kind of an awesome detail because I like doing this Dagmire type stuff where I start with a heavier line and I pull into a much thinner line. The other thing is that it gives me just enough brush control that I don't have to do that. Now I will say that trying to turn with this thing because you are having to roll the brush at a odd angle takes a little bit of getting used to. It's kind of like going from driving a regular sedan down to a tiny little sports car. So it, is gonna take me a bit of practice before I get used to this and before I can find a comfortable way of using it. But these lines that are coming out of it, when I don't mess up, are um, crisp. And uh, I'm not used to that level of detail coming out of something that I'm able to pull these sharp, pointy tips on. So this is a very different style for me and I'm kind of enjoying it. Now I will say that these are not the most readily available brushes here in the United States. They are manufactured in Germany. I did find these on Coast Airbrush. So I will post a link in the uh, comments so you can get to it. So if you wanna try one of these out, they're fairly reasonably priced. I think this one was under 20 bucks or right at 20 bucks. So I wasn't doing a whole lot of um, negotiating to even acquire one. This one was just readily available. And um, I highly recommend that you give this thing a shot if you've never used a long handle brush. There are several others that I've got to test out still, but so far of the two that I've worked with and the two medium handle brushes that I've worked with, this one is a lot more comfortable and it's probably because I am familiar with using lettering quills and detail brushes with an almost identical handle. So like I said, that link's gonna be down in the uh, description on this one and I hope you try it out. I've had fun with it, so stay moist, my friends.